it, it, there's there's a difference in our life. It's hard to understand, I think, for uh, people, legitimate people, don't understand it. And this is why I'm trying to do, in my scripted show, I, I'm i doing a scene that I go after uh, another Hikai, an older, very, very experienced Hikai. I'm young. I'm a Hikai already. But not a pimple on his ass. They pick me to go after him because they feel that this guy, who's very, very smart, very sharp, very cunning, will underestimate me. He will underestimate my looks. I look young. I'm supposed to be. He's told a jerk off, a guy who brings messages. And Sammy, I think, could pull this off. And uh, this is the head on Johnny Keys. And I, I did. I snatched him. When I had him in the truck in a van, he looked at me and said, a punk, a jerk off, a messenger. With five families in New York and the Philadelphia family couldn't do, you did. You have me sitting in this van. It was the most amazing fucking thing I ever heard. Now, when we do this, I don't want to do it in my movie where I just shoot him or vice versa. The people, I want to make it known what went through his head and what went through my head. They're going to see what made both of us tick. Not just shoot him up, gang him, and doing this and doing that going to be different. He talked to me in the van. He said, you're good. You're really good. You fucked up a little bit. Okay, what I do? He said, look at the windows. Truckers, they have these CBs. They'll look in this window. They'll see me tied up. They'll see you. They'll see these other guys. They'll call the cops. I was he, thinking. He's critiquing you I'm, on the head? Listen. I'm, I'm looking at him, and I'm saying to my, I didn't say a word, but I'm saying to myself, he's telling me how to do a hit on himself. He don't want cops involved. The fuck kind of guy do I got here? <laughs> then he tells me, we're talking like we are. Sam, go in my pocket, I got pills in there. What kind of pills? Nitroglycerin pills. I have pains in my chest and I want to die of a heart attack. I go in his pocket. As I take them out, he says, put one under my tongue. If I don't get better, put one another one every five minutes. I put one in his mouth. Now I'm saying to myself, he don't want to die of a heart attack. He's about to die, he knows it. He don't want to die of a heart attack. We talk, I get to know him I fall in love with him. I love him more than any fucking man on the planet. He's, he, he's what Mafia is about. He's what Goza Nostra is about. He showed me how to die like a man. Later on, he says, Sammy, I want two favors more. What? The guy who pulls the trigger, if it's not you, let it be a friend of ours, meaning a main guy. You got it. And take my shoes off. Why do you want me to take your shoes off? He says, I told my wife she knew I was in this life. 
She knew there was a war that broke out in Philadelphia. I told my wife, I'll die with my shoes off. Don't worry about it. Meaning, he'll be home with his shoes off. He's not going to die in the street. I said, that's pretty heavy stuff, bro. He said, she'll know. I was thinking about her in my final minutes of life. I didn't want to kill this guy. It broke my fucking heart. What kind of guy is this? But I, had a, I was under orders. I did kill him. Nikki Scarfo won the war for what I did. The next day, I drove to Paul's house. It was done. It was in the papers that a heavyweight mobster by the name of Johnny Keyes was found in Staten Island in the dumps dead with no shoes on. When I went to Paul's house, the maid let me in. Paul got up and came running over, grabbed me. You did it. I didn't answer. He said, what's the matter? I said, what I did last night, I killed what mafia is about, what goes on Austria is about, what we're about. He should have been the boss, not Nicky. I'm not happy about it. I feel dirty. He said, anybody else will be jumping up and down. They're going to know our family took care of it. Every boss, every underboss, and every consul he has are going to know that you did it. Nikki's going to know he won the war, and you did it. And you're disturbed. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what they think. He said to me, Sammy, don't change. Stay like that. Grab me, hug me, kiss me, let me go. I don't want to talk about this no more because it fucking wrecks me thinking about him. And he taught me how to die. I always wondered if my time comes, if I'm ever in a van, my last minute, whether it's a hit guy, whether it's cancer, whatever the fuck it is, could I die like this guy? Could I be him? I hope so. He never, he never begged you to change your mind? He never tried to talk you out of it? He tried to do one thing once. At the end, he said, Sammy, I have a lot of money. I can make you a very wealthy man. I said, please, John, don't do that. I've developed a tremendous fucking respect for you. You told me this is goes on Austria. I'm telling you, it is goes on Austria. There's no money in the fucking world that's going to stop me. And don't, don't do it. Don't even say it. He smiled. You are goes on Austria, true and through. Record tears. Don't do that. Thugs, mafiosos, gangsters, they do that. He was a gangster. There's a difference. Going back to the original question. There's a difference in the stories about making money and about that. There's no money in the fucking world. And the respect I have then, the love, I'm not ashamed to say I love another man. I don't, not in that way, but mm -hmm. in the respect I have for him. And I, I talk about it on my podcast. And uh, it's actually, it sounds like a commercial, so I'm not even going to say it. What part of it? It's, it's on my podcast. And uh, it's an incredible thing. And to me, it was a lesson in Goes in Austria that I, that I learned that is the most amazing thing in the fucking world. And I, about life, about life. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.